Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a brush preset in Lightroom. Now, quick house cleaning note. I received this question actually on Facebook. And if you do message me on Facebook, uh, there's a good chance I won't see it. Um, I rarely go on Facebook. I believe Facebook's contributing to the downfall of Western civilization, and I probably will be deleting my Facebook someday. So I was kind of lucky that I happened to see this because I just happened to go on Facebook for some reason last night, but I rarely do. So if you need to contact me and ask me a question about anything, it's better to do so through email. If you go to my website, onlinephotographytraining.com, over here on the right, you'll see follow me. And right here, you'll see a little like mail envelope. Click on that and you'll be able to email me. Now, one quick note about email. This is the time of year I get the most email I ever get throughout the year because on one photo raw new version just came out photo lab 4 new version came out there's going to be a new version of luminar pretty soon exposure x6 just came out new versions of lightroom and photoshop just came out so i get inundated with email so it may take me a few days to answer your email if you do email me but that is the best way to contact me all right now that is that is done let's talk about this brush preset in lightroom if you go over to the brush tool, you'll see right here in this drop down, there's a number of brush presets. Well, you could create your own and save it to this list. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now I have this image here and let's just say, I wanna create a brush uh, preset for the sky. I wanna make the sky a little more defined and a little more saturated in color. Now what I like to do whenever I use a brush, I'm gonna reset what I have here. I'm just gonna double click on the word effect and it's gonna reset it. But what I like to do when I first do a brush stroke, I like to see where I'm brushing. So I bring exposure all the way down. Of course, that's gonna be just temporary. It just allows me to see where I'm brushing. So now I'm going to brush on the sky. Now I get a big brush here. So I'll do the sky so that having exposure all the way down just allows me to see exactly where I'm brushing. Now when I get uh, close to that hill there, I'm going to turn auto mask on so that I could uh, make sure that I only get the sky. Now this really has nothing to do with the brush preset per se. Um, I'm just on this specific image uh, laying down this brush. And I just want to make sure that I'm only getting the sky on this specific image and nowhere else. I'm going to turn auto mask off. All right, so I'm assured that I really just brushed on the sky nowhere else. So I'm gonna reset the exposure slider. So now we have no setting at all, but I do have brush strokes on that sky. Now I wanna do something that's going to enhance the sky. So what I'll do is I'll bring contrast up a little bit. I'll um, bring highlights down a little bit. I'm going to add a lot of clarity. I'm gonna add some texture. And uh, let's see with shadows. Bring shadows in a little bit. We're going to add some saturation. We're going to add just a touch of dehaze. Oh, maybe not. Kind of didn't like what dehaze did. So we'll leave that like that. So we'll dehaze at zero. So let's see. I want to just tweak it a little more. Yeah, all right. That's good. All right. So that enhanced the sky. There's before and there's after. Now that's rather heavy, but I want to create brush preset so they don't have to come in here every single time and set these sliders. I could just go to my preset and brush on the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this drop down and we're going to go towards the bottom and the second last item from the bottom is save current settings is new preset and we're going to click on that and I'm going to call this sky dash heavy because it is heavy all right and we'll click create. All right, so I just created that created this brush preset. And now to show you the brush preset, I'll delete that. Okay, so we deleted it. We'll reset everything here. Now we'll go to the drop down and we'll look for our preset. There it is, sky heavy. As soon as I click on it, it sets the sliders the way I want them. And I'll come in here and I'll brush on my sky. Now I could have, if I wanted to, 
I could have um, just put my exposure all the way down like I did before and brushed on the sky so I made sure I got every little bit of the sky and then came in and chose the preset and it would have set it just like this anyway. So I just did this. Now let's do another one uh, just for fun. I mentioned that this is kind of a heavy setting. Let's say I just want to back it down a little bit. What we could do is go to this little triangle that's called an expose triangle. Click on it and when you do that you'll collapse all those sliders down into an amount slider. That's kind of like a volume control. So what I'll do is I'll just dial this down. See how I dialed it down quite a bit? So let's then open that back up. Now you can see it just basically brought all the sliders back towards the middle so it made it less um, intense. I'm going to create a brush preset now. I'm going to click on that drop down, go down now. It's the third um, uh, choice from the bottom. Save current settings as brush is new preset. I'm sorry, and we'll call it sky, and we'll dash, and I'm going to call it um, normal. All right, just for the heck of it, and we'll click create. So now I have that brush preset along with Sky Heavy. See, we have them both. Sky Heavy, Sky Normal. And I could switch between the two. You could see there's Sky Heavy and there's Sky Normal. I could create another. And maybe just for the fun of it, we'll create another one. So we're going to click on New Brush. All right, we're going to double click on Effect to reset everything. And I want to add color and contrast to the grass. All right. So again, to make sure I'm brushing in the right spot, I'm just going to bring exposure all the way down and we'll just go on the, the grass here. All right. We'll avoid those hills for now. All right. So there. So I'll reset that. Now what we want to do is I want, I mentioned to bring color and contrast. So we'll add some clarity. We'll add some texture. Now again, I'm going heavy. So all right. We'll add some saturation. So that's pretty good. So there's before and there's after. Of course, that turns off all the brushes, so we're turning off the sky as well. So I'm going to give this a name now. We're going to go to that uh, drop down. We'll go down to the second from the bottom, save current settings as new preset. And I'm going to, going to call this color and contrast dash heavy. And we'll click create. So now we have that brush. Uh, custom brush in here, color and contrast heavy. And if I wanted to dial it down like the other one, I could just go to this drop down and we could go here and pull this down. Like that, maybe. And then we could just give it a new name. We'll open it back up. Then we could go down to save current settings as new preset. We could call it color and contrast normal so I just created four brushes just like that you can see how easy it is now I don't have to go in and reset all these settings every single time I could just come in here and grab a brush and brush in my settings so hopefully that helps you create some custom brushes of your own that will help speed you through your workflow and make it a little easier thank you everyone who watches my videos I really do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon.